Sammy Guevara and Andrade are once again in the news. So let me bring you guys up to speed. Literally yesterday, last night, well, actually during the day, but I did a video on it last night. So either you saw the video or you already knew about it. Andrade did an interview. In that interview, he talked about people he had heat with. And he brought up Sammy Guevara because they had a match earlier this year for the TNT title. And during that match, Sammy got hit too hard. He got hit very hard by Andrade and then went backstage complaining that he got hit too hard to the higher ups. Well, on social media, Sammy Guevara was like, uh, you lying. Cap. No one likes you. Go back to WWE and fuck off. That's basically what he told Andrade on social media. And then Andrade responded, okay, <laughs> see you ass tomorrow on Dynamite. Now, when this all happened, I think everyone was like me where it's like, can y'all shut the hell up? Can y'all not do anything that makes the company look bad, please? Because this is just a horrible look for everybody. Why are y'all doing this stuff on social media anyways? Are you trying to build to a match? Because everyone was thinking this was an angle, like me. I'm like, well, I feel like this is just an angle to help build into Andrade's match on Friday because we're all trying to feel like, or we're all trying to pretend that he's not going to leave, right? But all right, sure, this is a weird way to do it. It also feels like we're building it to a match between Andrade and Sammy, which is weird as well. But no one was thinking it was real because everyone was like, this can't be real. There's no way this is real. You're playing with us. It was real. It was real. FIFO Select. Well, actually, TMZ reported it first. But I'm going to read you FIFO Select's version because Sean Ross Sapp is my dude. But, yeah, says here, another backstage altercation took place in All Elite Wrestling. Sources familiar with the situation claim that at the October 5th AEW Dynamite show, there was an altercation between Andrade and Sammy Guevara. The two had taken shots at each other in interviews and on social media throughout the week, and it came to head at the Dynamite tapings. Andrade was removed from a scheduled mass versus career match against Dark Order's number 10, Preston Vance, with the latter remaining on the Rampage schedule in another match. I believe 10 is now in a trio championship match. Those that we spoke to say that there was a verbal, a verbal, I can't speak English, it was a verbal altercation at first, but then it got physical. It says here that Sammy shoved Andrade. So Sammy put his hands on Andrade first. And then Andrade responded by punching him in the face. And then that led to them throwing bows. Throw them bows. We drop bows. Rock bows. Drop bows. Drop bows. Throw them bows. When you get on the flow, throw them bows. <clears throat> Throwing a punch. We're not sure if the punch actually connected, but we're told it was part of a... But it was not part of a work either. Uh, both wrestlers were removed from the tapings and sent home. Andrade posted, respect me and I'll respect you on social media shortly afterwards. As we see, Sammy did not get sent home. Sammy stayed. He stayed and went back to work like nothing happened. Man was all over the TV set. And what's sad about it is everyone knew. See, let's just get something straight. Everyone just assumes that casual viewers have no idea what's happening on Twitter. No one knows what's been going on behind scenes. Literally a good portion of the AEW audience uses social media. They are the hardcore fans that support literally everything this company does. So what makes you think that crowd wouldn't have caught on to what was happening? It was a mistake to have Sammy on this show. And I say that as a Sammy Guevara fan. 
Again, I'll keep saying it. Sammy Guevara is one of the best athletes in wrestling today. Period. Whether you like him or not. And you have a lot of reasons not to like him. Some of it petty, but others like this? Legit. What's going on, man? This is the second backstage altercation Sammy's been involved... He's been involved in for the last two, what, two months? First one was Eddie, now it's Andrade. And the first time it happened, the first time it happened, nothing happened to Sammy. Eddie got suspended. And now again, nothing happens to Sammy, Andrade gets sent home. And in this situation, it's clear that Sammy started it. What pisses me off about this is that you saw it coming. This isn't like the scrum with Punk and Omega and the Bucks where no one was expecting what followed after CM Punk's rant. It's like laying a match and throwing it on the ground. You think, okay, it'll burn out. No, and then the whole forest catches on fire. You're like, oh my God. No one saw that coming. Here, with Sammy and Andrade, it's like watching a meteor fall towards Earth. You saw it happening. Andrade literally tweeted, I'm coming to beat your ass. I'm going to see you tomorrow. And what? He showed up and hit Sammy? Who was there to stop that? Come on, man. This makes AEW look horrifically bad. In, in all sorts of ways. Sammy should be at home. Period. Point blank. Sammy should have not been on the show tonight. I don't care how integral he was to it. He should have not been on the show. By you keeping him on the show, now you create the image that you're showing favoritism. He should have gone home. Even if the report I saw wasn't necessarily accurate. It doesn't matter. Send his ass home. You were involved in a backstage fight. This is your second one. Go home. Ain't nothing personal. This is just the rules. If you're going to send Andrade home, which you should have, you should have sent him home. Don't be walking backstage and starting fights for no goddamn reason. You sent Sammy home too, and you replaced him with one of the other boys. Tell me I'm wrong. By you keeping Sammy there, by you keeping Sammy there, now you create this idea that you show favoritism to certain wrestlers and that certain wrestlers can do whatever the hell they want. And it says here, in the same report, not a lot of people were happy that Sammy stayed. This isn't me talking in bad faith. This is me saying, yo, be fair. This is a horrible look. It was a horrible look yesterday. Now you look even worse. Because you didn't set parameters knowing that this was going to happen. I wish it was an angle. It would have been better off as an angle. It would have been a dumb angle. But you know what? At least it would have done something. But now, once again, who suffers? The fans. Now the fans are robbed. Once again. I was actually excited for Andrade versus Preston Vance. I was intrigued. You had my interest. I'm thinking, okay, is this Andrade's final match? What the hell? Maybe he is going back to WWE. Now that it's off, it's like, okay, I guess that's gone. I don't even know what the hell's happening on Rampage. I think they announced the card. Because remember, Rampage is live this week. Let me see something really, really quickly. So, Rampage on... Uh, let me see. I'm trying to see... Because I don't think Rampage is taped, actually. This one is live, which it should be. What's taped is the Battle of the Belts, which I think they're doing. Yeah, they're already taping that right now, so that's not what I want to see. Okay. Well, the only thing I know about is the trios titles, which I'm excited about. Then you got, I think... Oh man, what 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 tag match was added? Was it FTR versus those guys from ROH? Well, FTR is on Friday too. Yeah, um, 
It don't look like a good card, actually. I, I remember seeing some matches on there. I'm like, the hottest match you had was on Delade versus Preston Vance. Now that that's gone, you don't even have a good replacement. No offense to the trio championship match. Like, can we get somebody on that show? What's Eddie Kingston doing? I don't know. This this is a disaster, man. Like, I don't like that the fans were once again robbed because these wrestlers are just not... No one's watching them. The structure is all over the place. There's no boundaries set. There's no rules set. So the inmates run the asylum. Then what happens is it gets too out of control to when someone gets kicked out or gets punished. And I don't like it. I don't like it. I think it's stupid. I think it's unprofessional. And once again, I bring it back to Tony Khan. Tony, get your ship in order, man. Like, you, you, we cannot keep allowing these backstage altercations to happen. This is literally, what, the, the fourth? The third? I feel like there's been at least about four of them this year. Okay, well, for right now, Eddie Kingston, Sammy, CM Punk, the Elite, and now Andrade and Sammy. This is like the third one that's happened in the last few months. What are you doing? And this is the second one involving Sammy. And nothing's happened to Sammy. What are we doing? When the backstage stuff starts to affect my TV entertainment, it starts to affect what's happening on TV, it's gone too far. It's gone too far. Get help. Get you some help, Tony. Seriously. Okay? You, you don't... I know you want to feel like everything's good, but you don't have your finger on the pulse right now. Okay, we're not saying that you suck. We're not saying that you should go out of business. I'm not even saying, Tony, that you will never get good at what you're doing. I'm saying, right now, everything's spiraling out of control. And if you continue to lay spiral out of control, it's just going to keep getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. This should have never happened. Andrade and Sammy Guevara should have never even came to blows because you should have seen it coming. You should have seen it coming. But I guess I guess Tony Khan was he had the blinders on this time. I don't know, man. Just, just give me your thoughts about this. This is frustrating. Can we be done? Be done with the backstage drama. Please. Give me your thoughts down below. That's crazy, man.